YouTube, what's going on lads? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, we're going to be reacting to the one and only Rivers of Nile. This has been a band that has been requested on the channel for God knows how long. I did react to Where Elves Know My Name, the actual track itself, like two or three years ago, but we're only getting around to actually doing the full album now. They have been top of the Patreon poll for the past two or three months, so I'm very excited to check out what they have to offer because you guys have been very, very high on doing these guys. The amount of people that have just messaged me and saying, Drew, rig the poll somehow, make them win. And in this instance, they happen to win. So shout out to everyone who's been voting on them for all these months. You guys deserve this one. Yeah, I don't really have one. Also, I need to get some feedback on the audio, guys. So let me know what you think it sounds like. I'm saying this because I kind of know it sounds unbelievable right now. I'm loving it. But let me know what you guys think and the overall aesthetic of the channel now. I think it looks good. Thank you. 
Those Chugger leads on the guitar reminded me a lot of Gojira and some of their boom, 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 boom. It's coming back to me, but I remember they had the saxophone solos. So Gojira like Even with the double click the double kick is like Mario de Pante and Gojira. pause this up real quick okay so that was first track um a lot to take in as you would probably imagine for someone who's just come from a very accessible metalcore album which was the last album we reacted to uh that was a lot it had elements that i liked it had elements that i was a little bit indifferent to and it had elements that i didn't really love uh the vocals not bad i mean i wasn't massively into the vocals you guys know i'm very very strange when it comes to my vocals like i'll accept certain vocals in certain tracks and they'll be roughly the same but because of the backing instrumentals and the overall atmosphere of the song it, it's so dependent so i didn't hate them i just wasn't like massively enthralled by them or anything like that the uh chug your gojira-esque guitar parts i liked also the drummer was probably the standout in that track he absolutely went off and i believe the drummer is a big standout in this album full stop so i'll be paying very specific attention to not only all in instruments, but I suppose to the drummer in particular. So not a bad start to the album. That was like a very, very prog song at home.
this one. I like this one. This is gonna be filthy, I know it. Oh, it's building. Not what I was expecting. This band is the definition of never let them know your next move. Sorry, I am very distracted by this right now. I'm going to bring that back. My fan, I just noticed, is like homing. And I wanted to get it on the lowest level. So apologies for that. Let me... Stop! Go to the right level. Okay, right. I'm hoping that's not like very annoying. It probably isn't. Oh! Nearly dropped a seven string. That would have been an absolute disaster. Okay, right. I wasn't giving that my full attention there because I could just see the fan blowing the the uh, microphone up so let me
they just keep teasing it. is absolutely killing this as well. Quick pause. Okay, sorry, I kind of butchered that in the middle. Um, uh, as you guys know, as you can see, I'm kind of in a new setup, so I'm just making sure everything is okay because the last thing I want is for the entire video to be ruined because there's just a fan in the background. So let me just double check that real quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've kind of lost my train of thought there, but I'm going to just keep on listening because with prog, with a lot of prog projects, you do really need to just digest the entire album as a whole. So I've come to learn that. So I'm going to reserve judgment for now. I still feel like we're in a kind of a building phase of the entire album. So let's continue on and see what happens. This is Old Nothing. Transitions are fucking insane. Okay, I've got to pause it, right? Okay, I'll be honest. The musicianship is really doing it for me here right now. The actual song itself, I'm not mad on. I think you guys won't be that surprised. It's a lot of chaos going on. Um, it's a lot of... But I understand how unbelievably technical all this is. Like I mentioned there a second ago with those transitions between different riffs. Like, it was just so flawless. The amount of noise and controlled chaos that was going on and to be able to morph it was like shape shifting the the wall of sound was just molding different forms as it went it was unbelievable so yeah i can definitely understand the appeal to this it's definitely extremely technical it's like progressive technical death metal is what it sounds like to me it's absolutely insane it's one of them albums that you can't listen to once and fully understand unless you're like an absolutely you know weathered musician or someone who's just been listening to this kind of music for years it's definitely for me anyway i have to listen to this a few times to even figure out what's going on so first listen take everything i say with a pinch of salt but for, but for now i know from my own music taste that this wouldn't be something that i'd normally go back to much but it's definitely something that uh i can appreciate how unbelievably technical it is like my mind's a bit blown by how much is going on it's just i can't even imagine the like playthroughs for the drums and that kind of thing it's just so unbelievably fast unbelievably technical but uh, yeah, from a music standpoint, not massively, you know, not massively me, but I don't think that'll be a surprise to a lot of people. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, I'm 
Okay, this is one of them albums that I'll need to listen to a good few times before I figure out. It's got like pockets of shit I really love. I do remember really liking Where Else Not My Name though, so maybe it will click with me a little bit more this time. I would imagine so. The single that is, not the entire album. Stupid speed. Okay, much the same as my earlier thoughts. Even like listen to that. Like the drumming is is stealing the show here, to be honest for me. There's pockets of parts that I really like with the unexpected breakdowns, but I'd like to hear more saxophone. Because that is obviously a very unique part of them, and I remember where L's not my name, the single had a lot of that. And even these little, you know, slower paced segments are nice as well. But I feel like the slower the segments, the bigger the payoff for the uh, the breakdown or the, the chaos that follows it, you know? Seems to be a general rule of thumb with these guys. Yeah, the drummer, the drummer is so involved in like every segment. Got a lot going on. Saxophone, these atmospheric moments. What is going on?
I can't even. I can't comprehend. I can't even. You guys know I try my best with blast beats. You know I try my best. instrument man what an underutilized instrument of metal tesseract obviously used the uh oh okay that was like shut up true Gented out guitars. That's ridiculous. Yeah, this is going to require a few listens, even like looking back at the lyrics, understanding the tracks a bit more. Um, unfortunately, the way I've got the setup at the moment is it doesn't really allow for me to properly engage with the camera and also look at the lyrics. Um, so, and even without that, even, you know, not even considering the lyrics, this album is going to take a good few listens to wrap my head around. Very, very technical, like death prog metal. So it definitely has elements that I like. And... 
I am coming around to some of the deathcore elements. A lot of the music I've been listening to recently has had like really harsh vocals and I've really come around to that, which is just something like a year ago I probably wouldn't have been into at all. Maybe a little bit more than a year ago, to be honest. I've been kind of on the progressively going up the the, uh, the heavier deathcore, more intense vocals. They've been coming a lot more easy to me, but I'm still not 100% there. I would obviously prefer cleans. I'm, I'm a cleans guy. Okay. Not the kind of sound I would have expected, but these guys have a bit of everything, to be honest. Terrestria 3, so is this like a three-part from one of their previous albums? I don't know. But yeah, their ability to create moods is undeniable. But it's just uh, the rest of it is, is something to behold. I need to kind of get my head around it. Because this album has like raring reviews. I think it's just one of them acquired tastes. So much detail. teardrop noise is very cinematic or something I'm trying to picture myself in what scenario I'd be this what theme this would be going to in a movie Maybe like sneaking around the building trying to steal some piece of jewelry from a big Why is this my favorite on the album? It's always the obscure tracks that have no vocals or are just really unexpected that end up being my favorite on the album. Listen to this fucking... Oh man, that is so cinematic. That is an unbelievably cinematic track. The amount of possibilities for like edits and movies and stuff that that has. Like I was trying to say there, I was trying to picture myself in what scenario and I actually feel like I, I kind of had like at the start the kind of creepy ambience that it was creating. It felt like I was like sneaking into some high security vaults where there's like this, you know, in the movies where there's like this diamond and they're trying to sneak in and they're going through like all the, the ceiling and then they have to like, you know, creep down the walls or some shit and then like all the lasers and stuff. It just gave me those vibes. So again, I'm always very... I like to think creatively when I listen to music as well. I, I mentioned that in one of my recent videos where you can kind of almost picture yourself in certain scenarios when there's a song playing and that like really like got me thinking creatively that track just without even trying to do it. It just instantly, I was like, oh, what can I see myself in? And then 
as the track progressed it felt like it was getting more intense in that moment that it really kind of like you know almost uh reconfirmed that feeling that i was getting off the first minute of the track with like this kind of sneaky mi6 feel to it so that was really unexpected i you know i, I genuinely wouldn't have put that kind of sound with the rest of the or the, the the initial few tracks on the album so yeah definitely surprising i had this scenario with thornhill's most recent album heroin where i wasn't massively sold on the album and the track that i liked the most was something terrible came with the rain which is literally just an instrumental track in the middle of the entire album which is quite funny but in saying that i also went back to that album and i actually have actually come around to a lot more of the tracks and that so whether or not this will happen on this i'm not entirely sure i mean it's again it's uh, i get confused sometimes because sometimes i think you guys are catching on to what kind of music i like and then i'll get a massive amount of requests for certain albums and they just won't really like massively click with me and i'm kind of like are people getting it or is it just because people want me to check out an album regardless of whether or not i actually you know they think i'll enjoy it it's more so just to get my thoughts on it because i've given enough you know indication that i am not massively into this style of music i mean i've mentioned it a few times i would put this in the category of like progressive death metal um that was that's probably the best way i can describe it just off of the tracks that i've heard so far now they do go down the creative route with adding in the saxophone with tracks like that these they're very good at creating this atmosphere this ambience in the tracks but i don't know if it's enough to win me over on listening to the tracks overall as just like you know a track in its entirety uh there's been some big moments in each track that i've been like oh that sounds sick that's very very technical but it's just like from a song standpoint i've just got other tracks that I'd, I'd rather listen to even in the heavy field you know in the heavier categories I'd, I'd nearly go for humanity's last breath uh viljata like these are the kind of bands that i've listened to recently that are a lot heavier that's just offer a little bit more this is like i know it's again it's 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 more prog um it's it's not that thaw sound it's it's definitely very very focused on technical quick pockets of speed and then out into this kind of atmospheric weird you know trance inducing moments but uh yeah i mean it's definitely very very good don't get me wrong but it's just not really something that i can see myself listening to too many times you know and um, i think that's something i'll try and do a lot more with the uh, album reactions is actually just try and you know get my thoughts out there in the sense that I, I don't think i'll listen to this a lot you know first i know it's first listen but it's very easy to tell a lot of the time when you know you actually will decide to go back to something very much but um yeah i don't know maybe uh, maybe one day down the line like I'm, I'm talking like more near future i don't see myself like after this going oh i can't wait to spin this again like for example with my latest album reaction currents uh the way it ends like i knew as i was reacting to that i was like this is like all playlist for me like i've just not stopped listening to that album ever since again i know it's metalcore and like people are probably like who have maybe you know just come to the channel who are new or like drew only likes metalcore like these are two completely different albums so obviously if he doesn't like this and he likes you know he likes currents of course he's not gonna like this you know he's got their comp two different you know ends of the spectrum but i suppose that's not necessarily true because there's been a lot of bands that are in and around the same categories these guys that i have really liked so it's just trying to find that like middle ground of where i fall because i feel like this is too far gone in the technical field i love prog but i feel like it has to offer something else other than just like this crazy technical breakdowns and like you know i don't know maybe that's just me there has been moments that i've really liked but we'll continue on i'm not sure what track is next but i know we still haven't heard where else is what did i say where else is where else no hollow
Roman has been incredible throughout the entire album. a drummer but like come on sound programmed just how could anyone be that quick the melody though okay also I'm not saying they are programmed I'm saying they sound programmed even is that like yeah I mean much the same opinion very technical Drummond's insane but will I go back to it much eh, maybe 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 certain tracks I'm really excited to hear where else again though I want to hear that track again because I know I really liked it at the time. Adam Jones? guitar is ridiculous. I just kind of copped it there, like what was going on, and I was like, wait. And the drumming again is just like, what? Failure. 
just want to make a point. Um, so I've been very vocal about the blast beats, and not even just the blast beats, but just even like the double kick that is like almost littered throughout the entire track and the entire album. It just feels like I don't mind it, but I feel like the way I come to not like it is when it's just almost overused. Now I get a lot of people are probably going to come for me on this because this album is almost critically acclaimed. Everyone seems to love this album that loves you know deathcore prog. So look, it's first listen again, but I've got to say what I got to say. Um. I liked when they had the really fast drums with the like almost gent accent that they had in the middle of that. So if I can just even bring it back here. So I think that the point being is that I like it when it's there's something kind of distracting me from the just repetitiveness of the like it can be very almost like headache inducing to me. Um, so I like it when there's something that kind of breaks it up a little bit and what I did notice in this track was that they had like a genty accent throughout it was almost like there 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 So like that just kind of breaks it up a little bit for me and maybe distracts me a little bit from the fact that I'm just being absolutely bombarded. So I don't know. It just doesn't really like, again, I love groove. I love melody. I've come to like, you know, more intense vocals. I've come to like heavier breakdowns. I've come to like different drumming techniques, but the blast beats and the really fast, intense moments in a lot of metal tracks have always been something that I've struggled with. Not struggled with. It's just something that doesn't really click with me. And uh, that's why I'm kind of surprised because it's just again it's almost like i'll listen to an album i won't be mad about it i'll kind of explain my reasons why i don't really like it and then we'll go back to like you know maybe like metalcore i will get something that's really genty and real like you know the style that i really like because i don't want to make it sound like to anyone who's maybe new to the channel that i'm just like this metalcore kid because i'm not at all I actually you know got into this kind of music through prog so i don't want it to make it come across like that but it almost we go back to like a band that I, I fuck with a lot and then we do a few of those bands and then people seem to just forget all the things I've said and they're like oh Drew you gotta check out this one you're gonna love it and it, I get it like I get if people are just saying Drew you gotta check it out like it makes sense like just check it out because it's a really popular album and then just get your opinions on it but people are like you are going to love this album and I'm like have I missed something here like I I don't particularly love this kind of music um but it's a weird one. It is a weird one because I do love prog and I, lo I love a lot of prog bands, but I think it's more in the gentier prog uh, field that I've fallen in love with a lot of bands. Um, but then again, that doesn't really apply either because you've got bands like Tool who are just not gent at all. I really like them. You've bands like Dream Theater. I do really enjoy tracks from them. I wouldn't be the biggest Dream Theater fan in the world these days anyway. Um, like there's so many different layers to it. I don't know. It's just really trying to nail down the sound that I like and why, you know. But uh, this is one of them that I'm quite surprised with people, you know, in the comments. Because it was like, you're going to love this. I'm like, eh, maybe not. So anyway, look. We'll continue on. But it's important to be honest. Can we all agree? It's important for me to be honest. That's the most important thing.
What is going on in my ears? Feels more like a masterclass. Feels more like a masterclass. Like this is the pinnacle of this genre, but it's just what use is it when I'm not that into the genre in the first place, you know? Or the the very specific subgenre. Like the meat and potatoes of the music that they're creating is a lot of stuff that I don't really fuck with, regardless of the band, regardless of how it's played. It's just if it's in it, it's just kind of like ah. Oh. So yeah, I believe that that's going to be my stance on the album. Um, even you know, with two or three, th- two or three tracks left, I don't think there's going to be anything that will really save my overall opinion on the album. I mean, if there is, it's going to be the biggest comeback in the history of music. But uh, yeah, right now it's like I think objectively, from a technical standpoint, this album's in the nines. You know, it's very, very fucking technical. And I've said that from the start. I've been hearing it from the start. But for me, it's probably falling at like a five and a half, six. Like, I'm just not that into it. Maybe like a five. Now, I remember this one. And I remember it now, even hearing that initial intro. And then I wish you... So, like, that's a good sign that this is a very catchy song, if I always remember it. If I remember it that long ago. Like, see, if there was more of this, I think... Alrighty, yeah, this is just, like, nice. I'm pretty sure we got some sacks in this as well. read the lyrics though down now now it's something like that isn't it down now now Okay, the only thing that gives me a little bit of hope for maybe liking this album at some point down the line is that this track, I can tell that if I had just been listening to this, like, without having heard it before, I'd probably just be like, ah, it's kind of the same feeling. But even singing along with it there, it's like, yeah, okay, it definitely, because I've heard it a good few times before, 
granted it was like over a year ago year and a half ago at this point i know it's like in one of my playlists from back when i was like on on twitch every single night over COVID. um so yeah i don't know like maybe i will come to like parts of this album there's definitely now this one definitely is one of the more melodic from what i've heard so far so that has to be a big part to play in it but uh it makes the certain segments of the you know more death y sound a little bit more tolerable so yeah let's uh keep going and then i wish you away There's that sax again. I knew there was something there. This is the music video mad weird for this. That was the first time I'd seen these guys was the music video for this. But that was like early days for me. Like proper hadn't a clue what was going on. words and then I wished you away and then I wished you away and then let me try to get this down Oh, Jesus, I'm off, children. 
don't read as it sounds at all. And then I wish you away. Yeah, that's catchy. That is catchy. That's the best track in the album definitely so far. Now, I know I've already heard it, so going back to what I already said, maybe it's that bias because I've heard it before. Well, maybe that's a good sign because I've heard it before and it's kind of sticking with me having heard it a few times, but it is one of the catchier tracks that I've heard, so it has reason to go back for me, but yeah, I don't know. It's hard to know, lads. Capricorn forward slash Agoratopia. What does that mean? Agoratopia. Oh, I don't think it's a real thing. It doesn't show up in Google anyway. Oh, this is the last track. Just so fucking technical, man. It's 
just an artillery strike. It's one of them. Saxophone. Yeah, I hope I don't really disappoint anyone by saying this, but I was kind of... Okay, that was screechy, sorry. But, um, yeah, I was kind of, like, just waiting for that to end. Um, I know that's probably going to be disappointing for a lot of people who've waited quite some time for this, but, look, let's be honest, half of the excitement is just seeing what I think of it. It's not necessarily going to be Drew needs to love this album or, you know, fuck Drew. Well, I hope it's not anyway. Um, I know from my own experience, like I'm very in tune with a lot of the reaction channels across the platform, uh, whether it be metal music or just, you know, music in general, I am quite tuned in with, you know, videos that people are doing and I get the excitement around suggesting an album to someone and, you know, or even just suggesting a single where someone reacts to it and they're not really kind of giving you the reaction that you would, you know, that you had for the first time. And, you know, I think that's, you know, that's what makes these uh, these videos unique in their own right, is that not everyone's going to have the same opinions. Uh, but the thing I'm most, not even, con not concerned isn't the right word, but the, the weirdest part about this is that I get when people are, you know, saying, check out this album. You just want to see how they react to it, not necessarily thinking that they might love it. I, I'm guessing that maybe that's where a lot of you guys are coming from, where it's definitely a very technical band. Uh, they're absolutely unbelievably technical. But whether or not it's something that, you know, I would have considered, you know, I, I know based on the comments that you guys are catching on to the kind of music I like. And a lot of the time, you know, over the last while, you guys have really been kind of, cop you know, saying in the comment section, you know, uh, I'm, I'm starting to think Drew likes this kind of music, this and that. And I thought we were getting there, but it appears maybe people just want, I'm assuming this is just one of them albums that people have said it's a classic. 
Drew has to react to it. It's a rite of passage, which I'm glad I did, but I just don't see myself going back to it much, to be honest. Um, Got to be real on the channel, lads. You know how it is. I always say it's reactions like this that make the the real reactions, you know, the, the actual, you know, the big ones that I really fuck with. It makes them feel a little bit more genuine uh, because, you know, if I was just to come along here, and say I loved every single album, then what would be the point of even watching the video because you know exactly what I'm going to say every single time. Naturally, a lot of the time, 90% of the time, it is me sitting here and saying I love the album, but that's because I'm getting the best of the best re-albums re albums suggested to me. In saying that, that's not really to say that this is one of the best of the best albums. It would definitely be up there, I would imagine, in this field. Very, very technical, like I said, but it's just not the sound that I'm really into. It's just like the, the constant extreme drumming although it's amazing and i gave so much credit to the drummer he was probably the standout in this band to be honest or even in this album but it's just like sonically to me it's just not the best it, it's just something like there's no, there's no groove to it there's no like there's very little melody in this album uh although people might argue otherwise there's, there's a few tracks that have a lot of melody but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said earlier, I'd say this album still falls at about a six, six and a half. Nah, like I'd say five and a half, six for me. Uh, I would give it like an eight. No, to be honest, it falls into the high nines purely based on technicalities. Uh, if I take both into consideration, I'd say it has to fall at around six for me. Um, yeah, it's the only way I can fairly rate albums because I've loved other albums and I've given them high nines. So if there's something I don't really fuck with, it's got to be like a five and a half, six. So yeah, I mean, that's what that album is to me. Uh, will I ever go back to it? Probably. I'm in no rush back to it, put it that way. Um, would I be in a rush to listen to anything else by Rivers of Nile? Probably not because this is the album that's been requested the most. So if this is their like best piece of work, it's just not really for me. I'd be definitely happy to check out other bands that do similar music and see where I can kind of find an area that, you know is for me but i think I, I i know where i'm at you know what i mean i've done so many different bands you can check out the last few reactions on the channel and you can really see where i've fallen you know um there's been a lot of really very death metal heavy technical genty prog bands that do the same intensity but just in a different way like humanity's last breath is a band that people would say oh you probably won't like that then but it's just the overall atmosphere, it feels like the whole thing is a movie, you know, the slower segments with big open spaces, I love that, as opposed to the very, very intense, almost like, I would nearly call it headache inducing, and that's not just these guys, I've said it before to different bands that do similar music with that drumming, it just does kind of give me a headache, but again, it's very hard to say that, would sound like I'm like, you know, to, you know, and sound like I'm, I'm, I'm not shitting on the band, but like i can absolutely understand how technical that is you know it's so very hard to do but to me it just doesn't sound great so yeah there are my honest thoughts guys i hope people do appreciate the honesty because it is something that i feel isn't done enough on uh youtube in these videos in particular so that is going to be all for me lads again it always feels weird ending on a note where i didn't love the album but that's life who cares it's an album at the end of the day we all have different opinions I would never hold this against someone for being like, oh, Rivers of Nile are my favorite band. I can see why if you're really into that kind of music. But you guys know, it's just not for me. So guys, that is going to be me. If you did enjoy the honesty and if you did not enjoy the video, regardless, please do drop a like. It'd be much appreciated. Make sure you're sub to the channel. <coughs> Make sure you're sub to the channel, guys. If you want to support me directly as a creator, patreon.com forward slash Drew Fortune, where we vote on all these albums. This is where this album was actually chosen. So shout out to everyone on Patreon. I'm sorry that I kind of let you down a little bit. But look... We'll get the next one, lads. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sonia. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.